Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your September 4th through September 10th love reading. We'll see what comes up. I was going to do half a month for, you know, a love reading, but I decided to do weekly instead. September 4th through the 10th love reading for Sagittarius. This may or may not resonate. Thousands of people watch it. There's no way I could possibly read everybody. If it does resonate, hit like and subscribe. I would love that. Maybe even leave a comment. You may have a choice between two people. This is September 4th through the 10th. You definitely may have a choice between two people. Well. There's a lot of uh, sexual energy here. That's for darn sure. All right. There's a lot of carnal desires this week. So just telling you. Um, looks like you have some small victories or you feel like you're victorious in some way. I, you may have a choice between two people. And that's, that's it right there. Um, I definitely see a lot of um, exciting, passionate, fiery energy. All right, something very exciting. I see you moving forward. Um, we do have Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we have Aries. We have Gemini. We have Scorpio again. Um, right there in the middle, though, we have some heartache. And I think that you're moving on. From heartache that's one of your victories I think you're getting over some heartache all right some pain in your heart that you've had for a while I think that you are putting that behind you I do I think you are moving forward so congratulations I think you've had enough of the depression you've had enough of the despair you were losing sleep over something but I think you're moving on from it from it okay I see something brand new it's like a rebirth okay um, and I think that just pushes you right into a phase of action, you know? I think that you might have an unexpected, or you had an unexpected choice, that uh, an attraction to somebody that you didn't see coming, all right? And this is the week of September 4th to the 10th, so if you ha don't have this yet, it is going to come, all right? Um <coughs> We do have the devil here. That's where I said about the carnal desires. There might be, be some addictions or some obsessions, all right, that have affected your heart, okay? They may, I think that you are really bringing a lot of control back to your life. I mean, I see a lot of self-control here, you know, and I think that you have really decided to put yourself in the driver's seat. Really, I think that there's something really new and exciting right in front of you. Seriously. I think you're, this is a really, really good week. All right. <coughs> I mean, you could have two people after you. That's what I, I mean. You could have two people interested in you right now. And you're like, you don't know which one to choose. You know, and it's making you feel really, really good. Like you have all the power in your hands. All right. It making I think that you're feeling very powerful. And you know, that can be dangerous. Having feeling like you're too powerful can be dangerous. You know, you might have to break somebody's heart. <coughs> I don't know. You want to be careful about lies because we have lies and deceit right here. You know, so you want to be careful about that. Make sure you're being honest. 
and make sure that somebody isn't deceiving you because somebody could be deceiving you. Alright. <coughs> I'm going to sh start shuffling the other deck. There's definitely a lot of control here. Power and control. So I'm thinking that you have really taken back power and control of your life and you're feeling very, very good. Alright. Be careful though. I mean, I do see that you're feeling like... It, you're having some renewed energy. That's for darn sure. And I, you might even be, I think you could be definitely starting a new phase in your life with somebody else. As if you were single, you know, I think that there might be somebody coming in. If you are coupled, um, <laughs> there may be another person either for your partner or for you that's interested. I do see that you have lost sleep over something and you have had some heartache, but you are overcoming it. And I think that you see new opportunities in the future and you are excited. I think this is an exciting week. Um, we have this new beginning right down here, this Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning on a physical level, okay, something new. Oh, these cards are just dropping right out. They're saying, me, me. So we're going to go with them. Ooh, new love. I think you have a choice. It's right up here with these two people. Water sign, earth sign. And then we got these this, this three, two. And juggling, uh-huh. I think there's, there's a choice between two people. Be careful. Be careful. Caution. Okay? Be careful somebody's heart could get broke even could be yours okay so be careful what you do be careful this guy looks like he's all cunning like he's getting away with something okay that's what he thinks he's getting away with something but this person knows this person's not stupid they've learned they have a lot of uh, battles behind them they've they, they know just be careful especially when the moon card comes up be careful there are hidden forces. Things are going on behind the scenes. The star. This is the after tarot. This is giving, giving, giving. Sharing the love. Sharing your self. Sharing the your energy. Okay? Just giving it all. I see that you are really, really opening up. You are just, this is a week full of feeling very vibrant. Whew. All right. So then we have the tower card. That's life experience right over this control. And we have control right here, too, with the devil card. All right, so the tower card is about a false foundation, something that you think you have control. You think, you know, your ego's a little bit big because you're getting this attention. You're getting, you feel like, you know, and this is what I have. There's no sugarcoating from me. <laughs> you know, I tell it like I see it. So, anyhow, I feel like you feel like everything is going really good. You have all this attention you know, or, or maybe you don't even know you have all this attention, but I think that you're feeling very proud. All right, you're feeling very proud. And this is where it gets, you know, a big old slam. I slapped myself gently, but it's a slam. You know, be careful. That's why I said be careful. All right, all of a sudden some big old freaking boom comes in and says, Oh, let me knock you down a couple notches or a big notch. Okay. So just be careful, be careful um, with your ego, because ego is right under here. Just, I mean, I mean, I can only give you the message that it is, all right? There we have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo again. So you definitely could have one of them, those people, you know, to choose from. 
We also have Aquarius and we have the water signs. I already named them off. Aries. We have Aries and Gemini as well. But anyway, this is losing it. This is losing the love. Right? You're dumping it. It gets you thought you had it. You you know, and this is the after tarot, but in this one he has it and he's it's going it's gone. All right. Maybe that's letting one of them choosing between because you I think you have to choose between two people. This is these are men or women, but I think there's a choice between two people, and maybe this is you know what? I don't want this one anymore. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be a part of that because it was false. Maybe some secret comes out that makes you choose. This is for Sagittarius. I think whoever your choice is, it will be a very practical one. I think you're going to go with the more practical approach. Okay, somebody who is more who is stable and secure. You have the potential for your hopes and wishes to be fulfilled. You do. And I think you've been working on healing. And I think you have put yourself in the driver's seat. And congratulations. You have a lot to be proud of. A lot. And I think that you are very excited. I, th I do. I see a very exciting, happy energy. Just don't let your ego get the best of you. Okay? And if you do have a choice between two people, be careful about breaking somebody's heart. Because it, you could end up with a broken heart. Okay, because we have the broken heart here. So just be very careful. Caution. Be careful this week with what you do. Just think twice. That's good advice, isn't it? Think twice. Because something is going to break down. But you have the power to just get through it. So don't worry about that. You're very, you know, this week you're feeling very good. You have the power to get through whatever this false foundation is. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. What you have been doing, that is the truth. Oh, this is a really good one. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you ro more romantically attractive. I think you've been doing that too. I really do. I think these are things that you are doing right now actively. I think you are mastering your emotions. You're, you're taking control of your life. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Whoever, this card will not, didn't want to stay up there. But anyway, your soul card may differ from your usual type and expectations. They're not who you expect. You're probably going to, with the lover card, lover's card here, you're probably going to choose when the lover's card comes out, it says your heart was going to go one way. You had the intention of going one way, and that's the way it's always been. But all of a sudden, somebody pops their head in your face, and you're like, oh, my God. The connection is there. Big time, and you go in that direction. That's what the lover's card is. So that's what it looks like to me. Keep an open mind. It's not what you expect. This person is not... The one that you choose is not the one that you would you thought you would choose. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. You know what that means. Follow your heart. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. 
That's connected to the love yourself first card. And the keep an open mind. Just keep that in consideration. This true love doesn't happen until you love yourself first. This is the message for September 4th through September 10th. Until you love yourself first. This is going to be a while. You know what I'm saying? It comes after this. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There is a lot of passion. There is a lot of passion to be had. This week. No kidding. Even if it's in your heart. Even if it's in your mind. There's a lot of excitement this week. I think you're feeling really good and happy. And you know. Just very happy week. Don't let it get out of control though. And be careful of breaking somebody's heart. Because it could be yours that gets broke in the end. Talk to you later.